data handling, chance and probability. If you are asked, will the sun rise tomorrow morning? What will be your answer? It will be of course. Is there any doubt in your mind that it couldn't happen? No. Could something go wrong that could make the sun stop rising? No. So, you are very, very sure that the sun will rise tomorrow morning. So, this is a sure event. Think of some more sure events. The sun will rise in the east. The sun will set in the west. I will be older tomorrow than I am today. Can you think of three more? Now, think about the answer to this question. Will the sun rise from the west? What is your answer to this? Of course not. Is there any doubt in your mind that the sun will never rise in the west? No. You are very sure that it cannot happen. That is an impossible event. Let's think of some more impossible events. A cat giving birth to a puppy. Gravity stops working on the earth. A dice landing with the number 8 on top. Now, think of three more impossible events. If you toss a coin, what are the possible results? You can get heads or you can get tails. So answer this question. If you toss a coin, will you get heads? What is the answer to that? You will say, maybe. It means it's possible that it will happen since you can get heads or tails. You are not sure that it will happen. You are not sure that it will not happen. You really can't say. So, there is a possibility or a chance that it will happen. Mathematicians use the word probability for this. Events are that you cannot say are certain and cannot say are possible are probable events. Let's think of some. Will tomorrow be a cloudy day? We can't say yes or no to this for sure. Will you get full marks in the math exam this year? Will India win a gold medal in gymnastics in the Olympics? Will I get a 6 when I throw the dice? So these are all questions that get the answer maybe, maybe not. They are probable events. Mathematicians use the word probability for this. They even have a way of calculating probability of an event. It's quite simple. What are the different answers that you can get when you toss a coin? You can get heads or you can get tails. So there are two answers. What is the answer that you are looking for? Heads. So that's one answer. What are the different answers that you can get when you toss a coin? But we have two possibilities. That is either heads or tails. And we want to calculate the probability of getting heads. So put this in a fraction. The answer we want upon all possible answers is equal to 1 upon 2. So the probability of getting heads is 1 upon 2. What is the probability of getting a 6 when you throw the dice? Let's get all the possible answers. What are the options that you have when you throw the dice? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 possible answers. What answers are we interested in? Just one, the number 6. So the probability is, the answer we want upon all possible answers is equal to 1 upon 6. What are the possible options? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 possible answers. What are the answers we are interested in? 5 or 6. So 2 possibilities. Probability is equal to the answer we want upon all possible answers is equal to 2 upon 6 is equal to 1 upon 3. There are 4 flashcards. 1 red, 1 green and 2 blue. What is the probability of drawing a blue card? Let's get all the possible answers. We have red, green, blue, blue. So there are 4 possible answers. 
what are the answers we are interested in blue and blue so there are two possibilities probability is equal to the answer we want upon all possible answers is equal to 2 upon 4 is equal to 1 upon 2 one blue card is added to the pack now what is the probability of drawing a blue card let's get all the possible answers we have red green blue 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 so there are five possible answers what answers are we interested in blue blue and blue so there are three possibilities probability is equal to the answer we want upon all possible answers is equal to 3 upon 5 has the probability increased or decreased when we added in a blue card? For this, let's compare the two probabilities. We have 1 upon 2 and 3 upon 5. If we equalize denominators, we have 5 upon 10 and 6 upon 10. So we can say that 3 upon 5 is greater. So the probability does increase when we add in a blue card. A pack of playing cards has 52 cards. There are 4 suits. Hearts, diamonds, club and spade. Hearts and diamonds are red. Clubs and spades are black. In each suit there are 10 number cards from ace to 10 and there are 3 picture cards called jack, king and queen. What is the probability of drawing the 2 of diamonds? Let's get all the possible answers. What are the options that you have when you pull a card? There are 52 cards. So, there are 52 possible answers. What answers are we interested in? Only the two of diamonds. That's just one card. So, there is one answer. So, probability is equal to the answer we want upon all possible answers. That is equal to 1 upon 52. What is the probability of drawing the diamond picture card? Let's get all the possible answers. What are the options that you have when you pull a card? There are 52 cards, so there are 52 possible answers. What answers are we interested in? Jack, King and Queen of Diamonds. Jack, King and Queen of Diamonds, that's 3 cards, so there are 3 answers. Probability is equal to answer we want upon all possible answers, that is equal to 3 upon 52. What is the probability of drawing a red picture card? Let's get all the possible answers. What are the options that you have when you pull a card? There are 52 cards. So there are 52 possible answers. What answers are we interested in? Red picture cards. Diamonds and hearts and red. Jack, king and queen are picture cards. So we are interested in jack, king and queen of diamonds and jack, king and queen of hearts. That's 6 cards. So there are 6 answers. Probability is equal to answer we want upon all possible answers. That is equal to 6 upon 52 is equal to 3 upon 26. What is the probability of drawing a king from any suit? Let's get all the possible answers. What are the options that you have when you pull a card? There are 52 cards. So there are 52 possible answers. What answers are we interested in? Any king. So there are 4 suits. So we are interested in the king of diamonds, king of hearts, king of spades and king of clubs. That's 4 cards. So there are 4 answers. Probability is equal to answer we want upon all possible answers is equal to 4 upon 52 is equal to 1 upon 30. As you can see, probability is always seen in fractions. When would the probability of an event be 0? We know that the probability is answer we want upon all possible answers. For probability to be 0, the numerator has to be 0. So, there should not be even a single option in the possible answers that we want. That means it's an impossible event. Let's understand this with an example. A box has a red ball, a green ball and a yellow ball. What is the probability of drawing a blue ball? So, there should not be even a single option in the possible answers that we want. That means it's an impossible event. Let's get all the possible answers. We have red, green, yellow. So there are three possible answers. Which of these answers are we interested in? None. We want a blue ball and there is no blue ball. So zero. 
we want zero of these answers. So the probability is the answer we want upon all possible answers is equal to 0 upon 3 is equal to 0. So what does zero probability mean? It means the event is impossible. When would the probability of an event be 1? We know that the probability is the answer we want upon all possible answers. For probability to be 1, the numerator and denominator have to be the same. That means we should want all the options that are available. That means it's a certain event. Let's understand this with an example. A box has a red ball, a green ball and a yellow ball. What is the probability of drawing a red ball or a green ball or a yellow ball? Let's get all the possible answers. We have red, green, yellow. So there are three possible answers. Which of these answers are we interested in? All. We are okay with drawing any color of ball. So we want all of these answers. So the probability is the answer we want upon all possible answers is equal to 3 upon 3 is equal to 1. So what does one probability mean? It means the event is certain. So we know that probability is equal to 1 means an event is certain. Probability is equal to 0 means an event is impossible. What about all the other probabilities? They lie between 0 and 1. So they are fractions. You can even express the fraction as a percentage. What is the probability of getting heads when you toss a coin? You know the formula. So the probability is 1 upon 2. Convert this probability to a percentage. That is 1 upon 2 into 100 is equal to 50%. So the probability of getting heads when you toss a coin is 50%. That's what the probability is all about. Now you know about the chance and probability.